blade us. It's making me out to be a fool. Posting on Twitter and going, we're live! Then no, no, we're not. Nope. Oh, I'm going to keep the fourth die. Let's see how this is going. Yes, yes it is. Okay, so you want to give a little rundown while I uh, maybe post something on Instagram since it's working again on my new phone? Huh, your channel's wrong. My channel's wrong? Oh, shoot. Thank you. Let me fix that. Yeah, so uh, this one is going to actually be pretty calm. We're getting close to accomplishing a couple of constellations, um, but they may have some fairly challenging requirements to keep us uh, busy before we can get them. Like, for instance, I have no idea how we get the Frozen Star. Frozen Star? Oh, that's art fighting art. Oh, is that one of the things we need for... Oh, yeah, that's, that's... To, to get Absolute or Rust. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just below rust. So it would be nice if I was able to get that. But, whatever. In any case, we're going to hunt another level 1 white lion. Like we do. We never hunt level 1 white lions. Never. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'm kind of tempted to hunt something a little bit more difficult. But the problem is, like, you know... Is it more interesting watching us hunt a level one light lion, or is it more interesting hunt watching us hunt a first story white lion? Fair. Because, you know... I mean, we do have dash. So, theoretically speaking, we could face a level two white lion. Do we want to give it a shot? No, not really. What's his, uh... His toughness is ten, and he has plus one speed and plus one damage. Oh, hi, cat. Ten isn't bad. It's the plus one speed and the plus one damage and the additional hit points that are really the problem. Yeah. Oh, uh, does he get any additional, um, what are they called, uh, uh, moods or anything in play? Yeah, he gets something called cunning. Ah, cunning. At the end of each monster turn, the monster extends its claws. If there are any adjacent survivors, target one at random and full move the white lion directly away from all threats. Target suffers grab. We're not doing it this time. Oh. Some of my characters don't have survival. Oh, right. Okay, that would be a good reason. But we should really start considering. I know people have said online risk versus reward, all that good fun stuff. It's but really general not there. It's not, but it gets the job done. I guess so, but... <sighs> Hold on, almost done getting this posted. Um, looking up my URL. There we go. I haven't used this phone to post on Twitter yet, so I don't have all the stuff configured right. Mm-hmm. And... Posting! Yay! I can post on uh, Instagram again. It's a wonderful concept. Woo! <laughs> uh, okay. So, we did suffer a heat wave last uh, time. We did? Uh -huh, oh, which yeah. Which means no... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if we depart with heavy gear... No survival. No survival. Which Grass Noble had no survival, so it's fine, right? <laughs> Something like that. Um, okay. oh, and just always a friendly reminder, uh, working on Defense Grid, the board game, uh, if you have a chance, please check us out on Board Game Geek. We'd love to have you follow us there, check it out, feel free to send me messages, yada, yada, yada. We're getting a lot of miniatures in lately, so that's been going good. I'm starting to post pictures of them, and we'd love to know what you think about those, the game, everything. Okay, so. so we need to decide who the first event revealer is, which is why I was rolling the dice. That's what I figured. It looks like it's going to be a uh, horned adder. Okay. Okay, so just a couple of uh, upkeep notes. We did some gear swapping. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we did was uh, Sidewinder no longer has the drag investments. So Sidewinder doesn't have the plus one to all armor slots anymore. Hence why Sidewinder's down to two armor in each slot. In exchange, though, we stuck the Monster Tooth Necklace and the Bone Darts on Sidewinder. This allowed him to get a second red affinity, which means he's getting the extra bonus from the Monster Tooth Necklace for two extra strength, which means when he attacks, he has seven on strength. We shifted those drag investments over to Horned Adder. 
Um, it gives plus one to all armor slots, even if you don't have gear there. So he's got twos in a few spot, in three of the spots, and ones in the others. And that seems to have balanced things out a little bit, which may also increase survivability. Yeah, and we now have the cat gut bow, which Diamondback <clears throat> is currently wearing. And what does the has. arrow do for us? Um, if you hit the monster, it gains one, minus one evasion token, but you can only use it once per showdown. Okay, so that could be nice. Yeah. That could be really, really helpful. Yeah, I couldn't complain if that happened. Yeah, the other thing is uh, we've started putting up some pandemic pandemic legacy videos again. Um, we now actually have multiples up on YouTube queued to release every Tuesday around, I think I set them for 10 a.m. or noon, something like that, play, uh, Pacific time. Okay. So, why is my... Is that my system or your system really going loud? My system is a little bit loud. Okay. So one of us is cranking. Let's see. In case that's... I don't know if, if that's getting picked up at all. Yeah, mine does seem to be running a little hot, but the problem is there's nothing we can do with Yeah, it. mine's running hot because of the preview for Twitch, like usual. Okay. So that's not too bad. Um... Uh, we're also working on solving our microphone issue that we've had with a couple of videos now. Um, we're planning to relocate the microphone so we can't pull the cord out of it while playing. It's an amazing concept. Yeah. <laughs> we have a great microphone. We don't need an expensive boom mic. We just need to mount the microphone to the boom. Wow. <laughs> it's like, whoa. How would amazing we... thoughts. Yeah. So we're working on some stuff like that. But I think we're ready to go. Yeah. You got I'm the book be... for, for the Random Hunt events? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be streaming Final Fantasy XIV, by the way, uh, on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, after yeah. After the patch. So, like, if you're interested in Final Fantasy XIV, which I'm imagining most of you aren't, but if you are, please feel free to check it out. Yeah, and that were, and her uh, her alias is Cyrose, so S-I-R-O-S-E-I. -S -E She's going to be tr streaming sometime around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Uh, it's probably going to come up at 3 a.m., like okay. on the dot, so... 3 a.m. Pacific time. Yeah, and then I'm going to be posting videos to YouTube like, oh, yeah, all day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she gets almost as much traffic in, like, one day on her YouTube page posting these videos as we get in, like, two months for Forge by Geeks. It's pretty insane. It's amazing. People who are at work who actually can listen to this kind of stuff are like, Wow, I can play the patch without playing the patch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and on a random just side note, uh, so I'm in the Internet Creators Guild. If you're at all interested in any, like, YouTube creation stuff, I highly recommend you check it out. It's a fairly new thing, but they put up something new about uh, about trying to make money off of YouTube. Oh. And they're basically like, yeah, we feel... Don't? Well, kind of. They're basically like, yeah, we feel kind of bad at this point. Pretty much if you're a new person starting into YouTube stream streaming, you're going to have a hell of a time making money ever. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be absolutely crazy. It's going to be really difficult um, because most of the big money makers are established. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have, whereas before the money makers used to, oh, you got a, you got a thousand followers? Here's money. Yeah. Now all of a sudden it's basically, oh, you got a thousand followers? That's nice. Let us pat you on the head a little bit. Please get a hold of us, you know, when you have something that will pay you to advertise. Yeah. And it's like... Ah, uh, so just like a, a fun little thing that I've been reading on. Okay, yep. so, um, pulling the first event. And we get Aromatic Breeze. The hungry lion sniffs the survivor's musk on the wind. Move the lion one space toward the survivors. Hmm. Maybe not need that book after all. No, maybe not. Uh, if it moved into space, it would ambush us. This is and cool. roll a random hunt event. Never mind. <laughs> Just gotta mix it up now, don't we? Yeah. Uh, number nine. Lucky number nine. Golden Light. A golden light blinds the survivors, stopping them in their tracks. The light si shines from a single source. The event revealer may investigate or wait for the light to fade. If they wait, roll again on the hunt table, event table before moving ahead on the hunt board. If the event revealer decides to investigate, they gain plus one courage, then roll on the table. You may gain a disorder, suffer brain event damage, or gain a survival. Hmm. The courage, I get the guaranteed courage. Yes, you do. And then get I can the get a disorder, get a survival, or a brain event damage. Is yes. there only one brain event? Yes. Okay, so I have a brain, 
So, <laughs> um, <laughs> really, I do. Okay. Um, so I can take that hit. Uh, the survival won't do crap for me because I'm capped. Um, mm -hmm. the disorder would kind of suck. I don't have any yet. But courage, it'd be nice to get one. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go for it. So okay. what do I roll, D10? Uh, yes. Dun, dun, dun. What else oh. do you roll in this game, ma'am? Two D10s. Pretty rare. Yes, but occasionally you roll two. Eight. You wander through the light bathed in a warm, awful feeling. You don't find anything. Awful. Yes, oh. awful. You don't find anything, but suffer one brain event damage from exposure. Well, okay then. Here, I thought I rolled high enough. Oh no, you have to roll a 9 or a 10 to gain survival. Really? Yes. That bad? Yep. Wow. Ah. So, this is one of those moments where it would have been nice to have otherworldly luck. Yes. <laughs> in which case, he'd be staying in town, so it wouldn't matter. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so, that is done. Okay, so next hunt event. Here we go. Is going to be falling on the ground. Prowling lion. While the survivors stalk the white lion, the monster hunts something else. Move the white lion's one space away from the survivors on the hunt board in pursuit of its prey. Are we putting right. red light, green light with this lion? Apparently. <laughs> the white lion starts the showdown with ground fighting in play. Ooh. Uh, I oh, wait, that's like not. That. Yeah, that's a free hit, basically. Yeah. It allows us to, like, plan out and stuff and get positioned. Yep. It's funny how that works. Yep. Okay, so that's it. Yep. Okay, your next character. Random hunt event. I will need the white die for this. You will, will you? It looks like uh, we got a 35. 35. 35. Good old 35. Broken lantern oven. The survivors come across the shattered ruins of a small settlement. Scattered corpses dot the ruins, disintegrating at the merest touch. An extinguished lantern oven stands intact at the center of the settlement. If any survivor has three plus understanding, the survivor's settlement gains the lantern oven innovation, which we can't because it's not available in this game. Okay. If they already have this innovation, the event revealer harvests a broken lantern basic resource from the remains. If no survivor has three plus understanding, the site throws the survivors into a fit of rage, and they smash the lantern oven. All survivors gain plus one insanity. So how should we handle this? Should we? So we have the radiant orb, which is the equivalent of the lantern oven for this, right? Yes. So what would happen with that? We'd get a founding stone, basically, right? No, a broken lantern. Hmm. I would say we should probably end up with that at this point because it'd be equivalent for this campaign. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've got max understanding. Yeah, so do I. Okay. So should I pull that out of the basic resources to remove no, it from random? No, it's a settlement storage. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't remove it from the randomization. No. And we're done. Yeah. So now lion. Oh. Okay. Got this? Alrighty then. Oops. As I knocked your camera. <laughs> Terrible. What can I say? I tried my best. Okay. So you need to grab um, the terrain deck and pull a... Uh, uh, oh, that shook the whole boom. Oops. Oops. Uh, that will... Uh, and pull a tall grass out of it. And then two randoms? Yeah. Okay. Here's our tall grass. Uh, it is nice not having, like, the overly large and insane uh, terrain deck from our last game. Yeah. <laughs> that got a little crazy. How many times did we pull the dung beetle stuff? Pretty frequently, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, that's basically a null terrain. With yeah, it this is. Stuff. And, I mean, there were some nice things. Like, technically, you could get uh, uh, silk out of the... Um, like, if you happen to pull the silk nest, you could get silk out of it. Yeah. That'd be um, nice. Oh. The flower patches would give you an option to get flowers. Oh, those weren't that... They were a random useful resource, though, because you could just use them as that resource that we don't care about. Yeah, I was hearing people saying, apparently, that the flower knight foe is highly overpowered. Yeah, I was hearing people say that, too. 
I mean, I've heard that, like, there's an event that is associated with it, so when you craft it, something bad happens to you. Okay. So I think that's what's intended to be the balance, but that it still may be overpowered. It's just, you know... Trade-offs and all that. Yeah. Can you afford the negatives when you get it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, our next train, we get a giant stone face. Okay. And... Three columns. So probably pretty good train choices overall. Uh, I don't know. Acanthus would be better. Yeah, I do kind of like me some Acanthus. Okay, so since he has the ground fighting, we probably want to throw a tall grass right on his ass. Yeah. Okay. So we'll put one right on his ass. Um, We can put the stone face, right? Uh, five spaces from the edge of the board. So... If where, what's the range on your bow if you're on the stone face? Eight. Okay. So, I'm thinking here, because three, four, five, six, you can start on the stone face. We'll actually put it on the other side to make it more convenient for you. So, that would be five away. So, yeah, you can start on the stone face to get that range, mm -hmm. which will be nice. Um, and then, let's see. Uh, where are our characters over here? Okay, so for blue, I've got Sidewinder. I'm half tempted to glue these in, except we may actually play that other board game again sometime. Oh, so we have another Survivor mini. Oh, technically. Yeah, good point. Um, okay, so that's Sidewinder. That's Horned Adder. This so is Grass Noble. And this is Diamondback. Okay, so Sidewinder is going to want to start back here with Noble to get those quick attacks. Um, I may start... Uh, where is that? I may start up here with you. You know, it's really funny that it's... I'm actually just... going to swap our spots. Okay. Um, mainly because I may end up running to the back with him with the Regal Blade at some point. Okay. okay. So I think we're overall pretty good. Okay. Oh, I need to place these. Yeah, shit. Um, at least four spaces away from all of their tall grass. So let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna dump that there in case it's a emergency over there. Mhm. Mm and then the stone pillars. Um, at least four spaces from all other terrain. Okay. Pop these two in your back corners, just to get them out of the way. Okay. That'll work. Okay. Oh, this one needs to go back one more. No, it totally doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. No. I was looking at it wrong. It looked misaligned. Nope. Okay, so I think we're good. So. Technically, you should be monster yep. controller for the first turn. Okay, so we start out by trying to hit the cacked up bow, I guess. Yeah, that seems about right. Um... Okay. So, I'm going to start with the Clawhead Arrow, actually. Okay. And since I'm atop the stone face, I get plus two accuracy, which means I hit on a four plus. Okay. Nope. Fail? Fail. Okay, I'm going to try with the Bone Dart. Okay. Um, so, let's see, I only get the one speed. Yep. Um, seven plus, but I have one extra accuracy. And then what do we get from up there? Two accuracy. Two. Oh, two accuracy as well. So I have plus three accuracy. So I hit on a four plus. Okay. That'd be nice. Yes, I do hit. And then I get a straining neck. Oh, no uh, negative. Okay. Um, but I could potentially crush his windpipe. That'd be funny. Um... Yeah, don't hold your breath. Okay, so this is three hit, strength hit, hit. plus my four, so that's seven. So anything but a one. Okay. I rolled a one. Of course you did. <laughs> which means ground fighting doesn't go nowhere. Wow. All right. Um, I'm going to just shift up to here. So Grass Noble is going to use the Order of Death. What does ability. that do? Uh, once per showdown, you may spend activation to have all non-death survivors gain plus two insanity. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, get us all a little bit of insanity. Can't complain about that. Yeah. Especially if there's a chance we may be facing the antelope next. Um, Careless is, I 
think going to be very good for me. Peerless. Ah, peerless is... When you gain insanity, you may gain an equal amount of survival. So she just gained two survival, bringing her out of zero. Ah! Go, go, peerless. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay. So that was that. That was my activation. And then... Oh. One, two... Is it an action to get down? I uh, don't believe so. Three, four, five. Um, let me double check. Move on to any... Okay, yeah, it's just to get up. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so switch the monster controller. Yep. Here we go. And he doesn't draw AI. Nope. So go ahead and hit him with that bow. Okay, so I hit on a 5 plus. Shouldn't now. you Shouldn't you just shoot the claw head arrow? With the, the one that I can only shoot once per shootout? Does it really matter when you shoot it? I just used it. Oh, you did! And oh. I missed. Okay, I didn't realize you used it. Okay. Yeah, that was the very first thing that I did. Ah. Wow. That didn't go well. Uh, you have bone darts. Why oh, right. You use your bone darts. Yeah, I might as well use them. I don't get the accuracy bonus anymore, but... No. That would be a hit. Okay. Oh. Uh, strange hand. Let's not fail this. No. That would be bad. Um, I frequently found that failing things in this game is bad. Yeah. You know, I'm going to use Faded Blow. Okay. Or wait, no, it doesn't matter. Because I only need anything but a one hits. So Faded Blow wouldn't help much. And I hit. Okay. So, so he loses ground fighting. Yes. This action... Yeah. All right. So now it's the rest of our turns. Okay. Um. Oh, I shouldn't have had the accuracy boost first time. I shot it from the wrong guy. Oh. So that first time I shouldn't have had the accuracy boost. Okay. Um, I had it confused. Had them backwards. Okay. Um. So how do we want to do this? I'm going to. Let's see. Does your remaining guy have a founding stone? Uh, no. Uh, yes. Okay. Does. I'm going to cat eye circle it. Okay. How many? Three? Three. There you go. So I had my two care. Yeah, okay, I'm fine. Um, I'm going to cat eye circle it and. Ooh, trap. Let's not activate the trap. Okay. Do we want a just a crit? That gives us a random white lion resource? Or do we want a crit that gives us a random white lion resource and a chance of instantly killing them? One in ten chance. Which one do you want to throw at? Um, I don't know. Do we want to farm resources? Yeah, we'll farm both of these. But which one do you want to throw at first? Uh, I guess I'll throw at the white lion resource then. Oh, yeah, yeah. If we're going to farm both, we don't want to risk killing them. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So if we if we do this, then we won't have a chance to like get weapon experience. What do you mean? Because oh oh no, we still have a lot of chances to kill. Oh, if we happen to kill him. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I don't think we're going to have that happen. He says. <laughs> okay, I'll throw my founding stone. Okay. Uh, into the beast femur. Uh, minus one movement token and a random white lion resource. Alrighty. There you go. Oh, threw it a little too sideways. I'm throwing like the Bears quarterback this weekend. <laughs> that was a sad game. Yeah, it was. Oh, again, and I'm I a mean... Bears fan, just fair warning. I may live in Seattle, but I'm a Bears fan. And all of a sudden we lose all of our viewers because they happen to be like Seahawks fans. <laughs> so fun. No, that would only happen if they're Packers fans. Hmm. So I've been thinking about sending the Packers O-line a copy of Defense Grid. That would be amusing. They play board games a lot. They post about it all the time. Okay. <laughs> You're like, sure they do. Uh-huh. Apparently they're addicted to Catan specifically. Yeah, but if you send them from the bear, you know, from a <laughs> Oh, no, no. Fan. I'm not going to send that. 
Because <laughs> I think they'd burn it. Yeah, they'd be like, uh, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'd do that like as a hidden thing in the box underneath the plastic inserts. Haha, <laughs> you play the game from the Bears fan from a Bears fan. Mm. I might get a football player at my door and that could end poorly. Okay, so we get one. And we get Yay! A white, white fur. fur. Oh yay, hey, white fur. What we wanted. Yes. Okay, so now next. Okay, I think we're done. Uh oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> okay. Grasp. Closest knockdown survivor in range. None. Closest survivor in range. That would be either of us. Do you have a preference? Um, I'll take it. He's going to grab you if he hits, but it is a speed of war. Okay, so I can always dodge it. Mm-hmm. Accuracy of 2+, plus, but we're in the grass. Okay, so 4+, plus, 5+, plus for me. Miss! I am rolling like great. Hey, so. that was a good time to roll like shit. Yeah. Okay. I, okay, so he's done. Yes. Okay. Um... I would like, oh uh, yeah, the fucking... So I'm going to throw my founding stone. Okay. And that is not a failure. So now, one in ten chance. I roll a nine. Good. It was not a ten, though. Good. So that's good. So we get the wound. And we get another white line resource. Oh, didn't you wound him before? Uh, yeah, you put one out when I did. Yeah, but then they, we wounded him three times. No, uh, this will be the third. Yeah, I know. We're only two oh, so you here. didn't wound. You didn't take your wound. Okay. Yeah. There we oh. go. Okay, there we go. And we get another white fur. Sweet. So we can finish your armor now. Yes. So we will yeah. So we will likely be moving on to antelopes next. Woohoo! Oh, that'll be nice. Okay. So that was Porn Dadder. So I can't. We know whoever hits next is going to get the uh, trap. Trap. So I'll take a whack. Okay. Trap. I got one hit barely. Okay, you're doomed. And then he performs a basic action. You're right in front of him. So speed of two. Uh, those. Yeah, both hit. hit. So then, body. Waste and body. One each. Uh, yes. Okay, I will take those. Well, I don't have much of a choice. No, you don't. Okay. <sighs> oh. Yeah, really sorry about yesterday, guys. Like I just. Was... She just literally about an hour and a half before we were set to stream nosedived. Completely, like, almost unable to sit up. Yeah, I know. It, it was, was out really of nowhere. Bad. It was terrible. And, like, it was really funny because I'd streamed earlier and everything was fine. And then all of a sudden it was, like, not, not good. good. Not good at all. Okay. Okay, so we still have a couple characters left. Yes. Uh, I'm going to try to hit it with my spear. Okay, do you want to run around back or just stay where you are? I got some survival... It'll be fine. <laughs> Famous last words. You got this! Unless it's another trap. That never happens. No, no, we've never done that. Two hits. Be small and soft belly. So. Okay. Um. Alright, soft belly first. Debilitating blow to the soft belly. Okay. Uh, I did wound him. I did not kill. Uh, did not crit him. Aww. So there we go. And then be small. Uh, this one has a failure, where he uh, he will basically intimidate me. Oh, that's not too bad. A and failure. Wounded him. You wounded. I do not have deadly, so unfortunately, it is just a wound and not huh. a crit. And now you have your bow, I believe. Yes, I do. So now I've got a bow. Uh, that would be two hits because I am got a plus two accuracy. That stone face rocks. Impervious, so I guess I'll do the glorious man first. See if we get another hat. Nope. Uh, yeah, no hat. No hat for us. 
duh, why was I even checking my strength? Of course it isn't going to work, it's impervious. Little details. So we don't want to fail on this one. No, that would be bad. Uh, that, um, that totally looks like failure. You don't have any strength? Nope. Well, damn. So, he goes charging through me, doesn't he? Yes. Does he, he grab you on the way? Me. No, he goes through you, so... Five movement, because it was negative one. One, two, three, four, five. Takes me with... Yep. And you suffer grab, so this is... One damage to the body. Okay. Do I get knocked down from that? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so my body armor's gone. Oh, hmm, that's bad. Well, not too bad. Oh. Now I ain't shooting him no more. No, no, you... Oh, and you can't move either. Does anybody else need to go? Because what about your other guy? Well, one of the things I was going to say was, why don't you dash and just get up to the front corner, just in case. Both of my characters already went. Mm. It doesn't make any sense to dash now. Okay, well, no, because what I was going to say, oh, because you can always dash at the start. Yeah. yeah, good point. Okay. So, okay. So, none of your characters go now? Nope. So, it's, okay. So, AI, revenge, last survivor to wound in range. That would be me. Was that you? Yeah, or he just I? wounded me. No, he... last survivor to wound. Oh! Okay, so that would be, did you wound him? I wounded him. Okay, then that would be this character. Okay. I think, yeah. No, wait, uh, okay, this character did not wound him. My character, I think, did. Yeah, and your character wounded him after I threw the founding stone. There you go. Yep. Okay. Oh, I was selected as the target, so I gain an insanity, which means I also gain a survival. Go peerless. I oh, that is pretty love awesome. This ability. Okay. okay, that's pretty cool. A plus ability, what ability again? Okay. This I can deal with. Okay, I kind of sucks that this does this, but um, uh, that would be two hits. Okay. Head and feet. Ooh. For two damage each. Ooh. Uh oh, feet shit. Okay, well I'm going to dodge the feet because <laughs> I have no feet armor. That's a good reason to dodge them. Yeah, and then I'm going to take the head damage, which is two. That dropped my head armor to one. Not too bad. That could be worse. And then he walks away with me. Oh, which way? Uh, what does it say? Uh, away from all threats. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And he's still out of range. And are you knocked down? Here. Yes. Okay. And I suffer one damage because of grab body. Awesome. So, well, that kind of sucks. Um, okay, and I get monster controller, I believe. Uh, no. Oh Let's right, yeah, yeah. The next one. Okay, so I'm probably gonna spend a dash. Okay. Because I can get up to him. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. And that'll run me in behind him. Actually, I'm going to go the full five, because then he can make it too. Okay. Well, he could make it either way. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because he's six out. I miss Cal. <sighs> <Not sighs> bad. Okay. So let's see if I keep my survival. I do. And Yay. there goes my crit for the night. Um, <laughs> That's horrible. Horrible. What can I say? Okay. Um. So that was my dash. Mm -hmm. Now I haven't done my full action. Oh wait, I should have done my full action first, right? What? If I do the move, I have to complete my action too, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, then I would have done the peek into the deck before I did that. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Not in this case, yeah. Okay. Oh well, that puts a clever ploy. Hmm. Well, shit. Um. Oh, I'll take a risk. That you might hit the... Yeah. I'm going to attack with the Lion Beast guitars. Okay. Hoping I only hit with two of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's real risky. Yeah, well, it's a... Oh, knowing that, I would have gone up to his side instead. Okay. Um, which makes sense, because drop my accuracy by one. Mm -hmm. So, seven pluses hit. 
And I hit with one. Well, six pluses hit because I have plus one accuracy, right? Yes. yes. So I hit with one. If I had been behind him, I would have hit with two. <clears throat> okay. So, land a blow on his uh, femur and no possible negative. So, let's see. Do I crit? Mm -hmm. I crit! We oh. get another resource. Wow. And he gets another negative movement. Wow. Wow, that, that was really, really awesome. And that's really good. Yeah, we've got three resources out of him. Also, the other thing is, is that with the negative movement... Oh, he can now only go four. Yeah. Which means he can't get that far away from us. Yeah. Nice. So I think all that's left is your bow guy. Which I can't reach him from where I am. Yeah, and I already spent a... Sur can I spend a survival on Encourage, even though I spent one on Dash? Yeah. Okay. Um... And I keep it and stand you up. Okay. <sighs> hey, we got somebody watching. Yay, Don't be hi. shy. Say hi. Um, there we go. And we get a main. It's hide. It's hide. Which means now we can definitely complete one of your two remaining pieces. Yeah. Well, soon to be my remaining pieces. Yeah. You <laughs> steal it from me. Yep. Damn straight. Hey, it's Day Zach Z. Or Day Z X. You're anxious. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I've got, what's it called? Dyslexia. Mine early. I blame it on that. I'll prop the trap. Yeah, you're going to. Or, you know, maybe not. You didn't hit? I hit with one. That doesn't prop the trap. That's actually kind of good. Wait, no, this was Beast Femur. Oh, that did was... you put it back on top? Apparently. Whoops. Still wouldn't crack the trap, though. No. And thank you for joining us a day late. Really sorry about that. Okay. So. Woohoo! I wounded him. Da, da, da. No crit bonus? No. You don't have the luck like I do? No. I am unlucky. <laughs> okay. So. Gonna move up. Mm -hmm. Um. I still can't hit it, but... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shit. One away. So your normal range is what? Six? Yeah. Plus two. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So what horrible machinations am I going to have him do? He is going to power swat. Closest threat facing. Nope. Closest threat in field of view. Yep. <laughs> that was really easy. Um, Speed one. Uh... Let's not get knocked back, so I'll probably try to dodge this. Yeah, I'm going to dodge this. Sweet. And will I keep my survival? No, I won't. Okay, so there's something clever we can do now. Uh-oh. Uh, after you finish taking your damage. My survival, yes. Um, your character has the darts. Yes. They have a range of six. Yes. He has a movement of four. Oh, we could. If you are at max range, he can't hit you with the trap. If you proc the trap, he can't hit you. Interesting. So, that's actually a good point. I don't even have to move to max range. I can be one outside of max range. Mm, no, because if you're, it, you have to be six away because that's five oh, spaces. So if I ran out to here, that would be that's a movement of five. Yeah. One, two, three, four. He won't reach me. Exactly. So I am six spaces away. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that's a good catch. Yeah. Okay, so I will do that. That needs to go back. Okay, so I will throw my darts. Now, admittedly, you might miss. I'm but... going to use my champion's, champion's right. right and oh. throw my darts. Okay. <laughs> so I am not missing with these fucking darts. Yes. Rolls a one. I did not miss with these fucking darts. Okay. It's a clever ploy. <laughs> you're doomed. It says you're savagely mauled, but you're not savagely mauled because you perform the basic action target the attacker, which is move four spaces and just cry. Awesome. You're awesome. Wah ha 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 ha. Unfortunately, that means our main attacker won't be hitting him, but I think we can live with that. Yeah. Okay, so I've hit him. Um, You've hit him. We need to get hit. I did not hit him yet. He I hasn't? Just... That person has not hit him yet. Okay, so our other three need to get hits. 
Uh, oh, I've hit him for my credit. Yes. yes. Okay. So this Arthur... guy can't get credit for a bow. Why not? Because I'm not high enough. Uh, oh, okay. And I can't get credit for the regal blade. So okay. So we don't need. We got all the credit we need. Okay. You already got your guitar credit. Yes, I did. Um. So I'm just gonna move towards him. One, two, three, four, five. I'm done. Okay. Do you want to run into and hit him from behind? I am going to pounce. Oh. Nice. You move how much? Four? Three. Okay. I activate a melee weapon with plus one strength. Awesome. Oh, I have additional accuracy with this character. I'm dumb. Okay, so that's only one hit. Okay. The femur again. Oh, please crit. Please crit. Please crit. Oh, that would be awesome. The last white lion, we just maul the shit out of him. So I have a plus five uh, to total. For strength. Okay. And Two you hit. Plenty. I did not crit. Aww. Sorry. But, you know, hits are hits. Yes, they are. We already got some nice shit from him. So. Yes, we did. We got what we wanted. The two white fur. Oh, I forgot. I gained plus one accuracy for your next attack this turn. Wait, that... I rolled a three. Mm -hmm. This is six plus... Uh, I wasn't blind, and so I still don't. Okay. Actually. Okay. Okay. So, um, That's do you want to move your bow guy at all? Just to, because he's probably not going to make it. Okay, okay, and that puts you four, five, six, seven, eight out now. But it doesn't matter. No, but for I'm next round, the, it may matter. I'm off the thing. Oh, that. right. Duh. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what horrible thing he does. Grasp. Closest knockdown survivor. Closest survivor. That would be either of us. us. Okay, and neither of us will get that. So he's going to move and attack. I'll have him hit me. Okay. Because I can always just dodge the one speed. He and misses. he misses. Badass. Sweet. Okay. So that works even better. We need to order those bigger dice. Even though they'll just have a 10 on them, I think we ought to order them. Yeah. I'll dig it up and order it. Okay, so I'm going to just run behind him okay. and try to just finish him off, right? Okay. I'm going to, so I've already used Champion's Right, which kind of sucks, but um, I still get the four attacks, and it's a five plus for me. Three hits. Oh, let's see how this goes. We've got... Oh, do we have a hiccup on it? Yeah, just okay. briefly. Um, I can ruin his balance, get a white lion tail. That wouldn't be bad. Um, Hurt his accuracy or hurt his movement. Neither of those do anything big. One, he jumps back a space, though. So I think I'm going to throw that at the end of the list. Though oh, I can... Guitar. I can ignore the first one. So I'm going to ignore his beast tail reflex. Okay. Because he could run off. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, he would. Okay. Unless I crit. So, I'm ignoring that. Okay. Come on. Oh, just a hit. I do damage. Okay. Now I'm going to hit his beast knee. And, let's see. Yeah, that's enough. That's just a regular wound. And then, I'm going to use... A uh, faded blow for plus two strength and a devastating to try to finish him. Okay. And that finishes him. All right. So we did white lion. So faded blow has devastating, so it does an extra damage. So we took off the last AI card and killed him. There you go. So that wasn't too bad. I think, uh, though, yeah, I'm glad we're going to be fighting something harder starting next uh, hunt. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's very hopeful of you. There are things that can happen that would mean that we would not be. Fair. Fair point. Okay. So, uh, plus one hunt XP. All right. And I get my uh, uh, proficiency as well. I have proficiency in spear. I am now aged. You aged. Okay. So, you need to roll 2d10. Okay. And add them together. Yep. And that's a nine. Which age? First. A first age? Nine is gain one random fighting art. Okay, nothing else? 
Yes. Do you have dragon vestments on that character? Yes, I do. Then you gain one dragon fighting art. Oh, with my choice? Yeah, dragon trait fighting art. Um, select a dragon trait. Yes. Select. Okay. So that would be any of these four, I believe. Yes. So I can pick Acrobatics, Unbreakable, Champions, Right, or Faded, Blow. I should probably take one of the other three just because. So, let's see. Where is on this? Faded Blow gives me Storm Gambler. Um, Unbreakable gives me Rust Goblin. And Champions, Right is Reaper Absolute. Uh, looking at the lineups... Um, I think my best chance is, you know, screw best chance. Which one do I want? Uh, I don't have any understanding. I think I'm going to take Unbreakable. Okay. So he gains that. All right, our white lion resources are Lion Claw, Curious Hand, a Random Survivor Gains Plus One Insanity, another Lion Claw, and the Lion Testes. Oh, sweet. Um, I can get, I have a person with two. What's your lowest person? Three and one. And Ta two. Okay, take it on yours. Okay. Okay, so that's in addition to, we've got our two white lion furs. We've got a Shimmering Mane. I can move this temporarily. Um, and we've got two Lion Claws. Oh, I didn't notice you got two. Yes. That's really nice because they're bones. Yes. We've got the Testes if we want to breed. And uh, they're not for breeding. That's for Frenzy Drink. Oh, right. Which, don't get me wrong. Frenzy Drink has Tasty. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. And now we get four basics. Yes. So that was actually a really good hunt. We got seven white lion. Yeah. And yeah, we threw two uh, two of our founding stones, but still. Yeah. That's that's ideal. Okay. For our other resources, we get. Let's see, we get a monster bone, another monster bone. Oh, we really need a organ of some kind. A love juice. It's an organ. And a third monster bone. Wow. So not entirely ideal on those. Okay. We already have some monster organ. We already have some organs. Yeah, but we were hoping to do uh, a couple building constructions. Uh, yeah. Okay, so either way, so I think that's the end of our hunt phase. For those on Twitch, we will keep going. For those on YouTube, uh, thank you very much for watching, and hope you'll check out the settlement or more hunts. Okay. So